Ugh. You're a peach over there is what I say. <laughs> I'm a peach. You are a peach. Did you ask Dan if he has fiddled with the sprinklers? No. Did you tell him to suck it? No. You had a fail yesterday. I know. <laughs> you went 0 for 2. Man, it seemed like yesterday didn't end. It was, like a, it was just a nonstop like... Do this, do that, do this, do okay, that. Okay, you were a busy lady yesterday? Yeah. What did you do? So we had our uh, VIP lunch at the courtyard with our Dar- Donnelly. stuff. And then afterward, you just went and did stuff. Just stuff. And yeah, like a million things. Do you feel like you accomplished a lot of things? I do. Like you got them done? Yeah. So it's not like you are staring at a mountain of work that you have to no. do and nothing really happened? No. Okay. What about today? Let's see. Today... I've got a bunch of stuff to do around here. Okay. And then tonight we're going to be out at Thousand Oaks. Oh, right. Yeah. For uh, music on the deck from 4 to 6. You're welcome to come have a drink with us. Yeah, come hang out. Music starts at 6. We're there 4 <sighs> to 6. I'm going to try and get a nap in there somewhere. Good. Yeah, you got to be I'm rested. Try to. You need to be rested. Right? I know. Okay. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Probably won't. How long was it? Okay, so I just, Dan and I just moved into a house. Yeah. Let's see. We're coming up on, well, three weeks ago yesterday, our stuff got moved. Three weeks ago. So you've had your stuff in your house for three weeks. Yeah, and it's pretty much all set up. Okay. But like yesterday, Dan was trimming branches off trees and, you know, like stuff like that. Yeah, get out in the yard. Um, Can you remember when you guys moved into your house, how long it was till you... Went home, yeah, and you didn't have something to do went other home, than like cooking or cleaning or went normal home and house stuff. Didn't have any house stuff to do. Like the day before, we were putting up um, fire smoke detectors. Okay, yeah, you know what I mean. Like okay, making sure yeah. that all worked. So, and so you're not doing house stuff. How long did it take me before you went home? Wow, and just you were able to have a normal day. Probably about a week. Really? Yeah. Oh, we uh, I'm a taskmaster <laughs> would be nice. So when uh, like when our moving truck came, everything came off the truck and was immediately put away. Yeah. Boxes were not set in rooms. They were unpacked and put away. Mm-hmm. And then we gave the movers our boxes and said, if somebody needs these, they can have. Them. And they could okay. not believe the efficiency okay. at which my family emptied out. So we're All not efficient is what I'm hearing. No, you seem to be. <laughs> and, and you only have you only have two people. It just seems like it's, like... And Katie stays home during the day, so she was able to do some things during the day, like, while I was here. So you don't have that option available to you. Yeah. Uh, so And you guys have to just do it when you can. But that's what we would just do, 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 do. Right. And we also, during that week, and really during that for whole first month, mm-hmm. we were driving all over West Michigan going to antique stores. So I feel like, yeah, maybe we won the moving Yeah, game. you may have won. But that's okay, because it's not a competition. <laughs> Everyone needs to work at their own pace. I remember it. My well, he hasn't. Dan has not stopped since okay. we moved in. He has not stopped. It's been one thing after another. So it's you. Well, I, I'm working every day. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're busy. I'm busy every day. I remember uh, some of my parents' friends. They moved into a house uh, in the same city, so uh-huh. they just had a city to city move, much like you did. Mm-hmm. And they, three years later, still had boxes. Oh, sitting there's in no rooms. way. And I mean, they, we don't have boxes. We haven't had boxes out for two weeks. But okay. Just other things being done. Like there weren't enough smoke detectors in the house. Right. So you got to go buy five smoke detectors exactly. and make sure you put them up. Right. You, get you know those what I mean? Up. Oh, I know. You safety first. Stuff like that. Right. I mean, you don't want to be standing in the basement hallway and not know that there's a fire. Right. Now, are they all connected? I have no idea. Mine are all connected. I and know. I don't know how that works, but that. I don't know. That is awesome. When uh, something goes off in the kitchen, because remember, smoke detectors used to, you would cook and you'd maybe have a pizza and there'd be something in the, there'd be something Uh, in the bottom of the oven and it would would start it off and you're like, oh, great. Uh, But now every one of mine goes off in my house and I don't know if they are like plugged in. I don't know what the deal is. If they're, who knows? But they all are like, they work together. Yeah. We had that at our last house and we hated it. Because, right. Because if one goes off, they all go off and ours said, Get out. Oh, I love that. Get out. <laughs> I love Get that. Get out. We were like, ah. Oh. And it was a condo, so we always felt bad. Oh. And if one alarm or if one battery started to go, oh. all of them would beep. It was annoying. That is the hardest thing about my smoke detectors. We have so many, and because code has improved. Right, right. Uh, and we spend probably two days trying to find the one that's beeping. Yes. Two yes. days. And mine don't all beep yes. when, when they're going off, but there's just one beep, and you'll you hear don't know it. Where it is. 
And you're, so we are just standing <laughs> underneath smoke alarms. Like, is it this one? Oh, gosh. No, it's not this one. And then you'll walk away and beep. It's like, well, maybe it is that one. <laughs> I don't know which one is beeping. I know. That's so annoying. I woke up in the it's middle funny. of the night one night and uh, and was like, okay, it is this one. It has to be this. And Katie got up and we stood there for 40 minutes and it did not beep again. <laughs> Till you got back in bed. And, and no, it didn't. And then we fell asleep. And then as I was leaving in the morning, beep from another one. And I'm like, uh, what is happening? Happening with these smoke alarms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Knock it off. Ours were so bad that when uh, we moved here almost two years ago, we rented out our condo. Okay. Um, obviously to try and help with money, right? Right, right. So we rented out the condo over in Wisconsin, and the tenants couldn't figure it. They're so confusing. Yeah. The people who live there. And she was a real estate agent. Okay. I mean, they couldn't figure out what was happening. So we had to call somebody professional <laughs> to go in and change the alarm to, or change the batteries. Get out. Because they couldn't figure them out and it was driving them insane right. for like a week. And that, I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't handle it for an hour. Like, it's nice that uh, they tell you, hey, my battery isn't working. Because you right. always just, just wonder, hey, right. I wonder if this is hooked up. Right. But the fact that they are so impossible to de determine which one is beeping. Come on, do a better job with that. <laughs> Be or maybe we're the dumb ones. You know what? Maybe everyone you know who I've ever to talked have, to you about this is dumb. They need to have a control board. So when yes. one of the batteries goes out, you can look at the board and go, oh, that's number three. E11. I need to get over there. <laughs> <laughs> you drop in the new battery. Like, oh, good. Quadrant E is now secured. Quadrant. <laughs> we feel real good about oh, this. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to break our house up into quadrants. <laughs> you, need, you need quadrants. Go uh, A, B, C, D, and then throw an E in there, even though that doesn't make quadrants. One, two, three, four, and F. Yeah. And then throw an F in there. And yeah. F can be like, uh, hey, we don't care. It's F it. <laughs> we don't care if this would ever burns down. Oh, my gosh. So you, so you still have some house things to do is what you're saying. Do you need me to come over and, and kind of get you and Dan on task? Because I'm willing to do that. I have no. a I have a captain's hat that I've worn. Um, the only day that has really been taken off was Sunday. Remember how I said that's my, that was my favorite day in years? Sunday. Sunday. Fun day. I did nothing around the house. I mean, I paid bills and stuff. Okay. But did no, no house. Zero okay. house stuff. Um... Dan has taken like a half a day off. He's okay. in three weeks. He's been just nonstop. Wow. I like that. Nonstop. Way to go, Dan. But, Dan but gets a sticker. There's one caveat to that. Dan's drinking beers. Oh, yeah. He's drinking beers. Okay. That's nothing out of the blue. <laughs> he's just moving slow. Uh, no, because I am one of those people who is constantly, every couple of years or every year, going through all my stuff. Right. Like my personal stuff, my clothing, yeah. that type of you stuff. purge. Right. And Dan doesn't do that. Dan doesn't purge. No, okay. he's never done it so in that's ten what years he's that I've known now? him. That's like that's taking up a lot of time. That doesn't count and as then, house stuff. And Dan, then do that on your own time. And then he doesn't like to get rid of anything. So he's just looking. He's not purging. <laughs> when when I was he's um, re binging helping him for ten minutes, I filled up a laundry basket full of. Oh, you don't? Do you want this? No. no do you want, I've never even seen this before. We've been okay. together ten years. Okay. He's like, no, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. So laundry basket. And then guess what? Folded nicely in a closet. No, that's the stuff he got rid of. But that's the only stuff he okay. got rid of. He didn't <laughs> okay. get rid of anything else. You need to uh, to do that with him again. <laughs> Ten minutes a day. No, if then he wants he, to hang on to t-shirts that then are he'll 50 be, years he'll old. He'll be a nudist. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes a day, you just clean out his whole wardrobe. Oh. Hey, sorry, Dan. We threw away all of your clothes. The good news is everything will be in its place when we are done. Everything well, everything Ooh. pretty much is in its place right now. Everything okay. has a place. Okay. If it didn't have a place, it got donated pretty much. Hey, I can't find a place for this. Get rid of it. Yep. Vacuum cleaner? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It. We definitely found a place. <laughs> can't keep this at yep. all. Awesome. Got rid of it all. Plus, you got the pool, so you're spending a lot of time in the pool probably. So, you know, you're rewarding yourselves with little breaks in the pool. He's not really. No. Well, right. You said he's working nonstop. Yeah. I'm saying you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, saying... it hasn't been warm enough the last couple of days. Yesterday <laughs> was such a great fall day. Oh, my goodness. It was a great fall wow. day. Wow. I was loving it. It was a great fall the day. The leaves are changing in my neighborhood. <laughs> We're getting ready for Halloween. Got the costumes all picked out already. Can you imagine if the leaves started changing already. Be, That'd be so sad. Where was I? I was somewhere, and there were leaves changing. Shut I, up. Where was I? In July. Yes, around here. I went somewhere, <sighs> and like under the canopy, uh, the tallest leaves, the ones underneath were changing. They were yellow oh, and orange. Man. And I thought to myself, what the <laughs> heck is happening, no polar vortex? Kidding. You jerk face. It was cold. 
You were cold? Like, it was cold outside yesterday. What? Mm -hmm. I was cold. Wasn't it still like 65? (laughs) Yes. But it it was very windy at my house. I I was laughing because we spent all morning telling people how freezing it was going to be. And (laughs) all my friends on Facebook were like, it's freezing. It's so cold. And all of my kids, tank tops and shorts, just like it was 90, running around, riding their bikes. You know, and they didn't notice at all. No (laughs) shoes through the grass. Did you guys go to the pool? We did not go to the pool. Mm. Pool was closed. It was? Yeah, too cold. Oh. I don't know if that's true. In our house, the pool was closed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it officially... I mean, it makes sense. Well, okay. So, time out. Uh, we were just talking about... 6.30 on Channel 95.7. Just talking about Connie uh, buying all new smoke alarms for her house. And I said, mine are annoying because they're all connected, which is cool. Because meh, meh, meh. But then uh, there are so many, we can't tell which one needs the battery change. <laughs> so, we spent like two days trying to figure out which one needs the battery change. And Matthew, on our Facebook page, Connie and Curtis... Well, and not one of us here in the studio, and there are four of no, us here. No, came up with this. Not one of us had a commonsensical idea. Matthew says, I think the idea of the smoke alarms <laughs> is to change all the batteries at the same time. <laughs> now that... How dumb does that make you feel right now? It makes me feel pretty dumb, except, Matthew, <laughs> I'm going to kind of call BS on that. Oh. Because you want to stagger them, since mine are all connected... I don't want to have all the batteries die the same day. Yeah, that's true. You know, because what if they all die while everybody's out of the house and then you don't know it? Exactly. Yeah. So what if that is the day that they all die? So that's true. I'm going to go with staggering. However, you did make us all feel very dumb here in the studio <laughs> for about three minutes. <laughs> Which like is a normal everyday. No, it's occurs, easy. Pretty much. Making us feel yeah. dumb is easy. Mm. But normally we don't admit it. <laughs> and Matthew, we're admitting it. To Curtis you. just read that to me and I laughed out loud. Yeah. Oh. We thought we were in trouble. But Matthew must be an engineer. Matthew, or he's a fireman, you know, or he invented the smoke alarm. Hmm. Which, bravo, if you're any of those things. All three of those. Commendable. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice work. Hey, what's the, uh, what's the high going to be today? What are you saying over there? 70. 70. You want to know what the uh, record cool high temperature is for Grand Rapids today? Oh, no. 74. Oh! We're talking record-breaking cool. Yeah. Which, yeah, we're only supposed to hit 70. Which normally, I mean, you want to be cool, but not today. Uh, It's 55 right now, by the way. 55 is cool. Yeah. Clouds are at least kind of moving out. Like, it was very cloudy and dark downtown. Now that's all moved east, so enjoy it, east of downtown. You know how I always say that... Um, looking at weather sources like the news channels, you know, ZZM yeah. and Wood and whomever, um, and they're always like... 10 degrees difference. Like, some days they will literally be 8 degrees different yeah. in their forecast. Well, remember one day we had a 23 degree difference yes. between the channels yes. here and the weather channel. Well, even today, between, let's just say, ZZM and Wood. Okay. Uh, ZZM says 70 is the high and Wood says 71. So we are probably absolutely going to make a new record. Okay. But you never know. The other day, it was going to be 76, and I got in my car in the parking lot here at yeah. uh, downtown, and it was 80 in my car that day. <laughs> Eight. And Don't you re- find that it's always warmer downtown, though, than all, when you get all, out? All the buildings and yeah. everything, and now yeah. the heat is being capped, and we have the roof downtown, so that uh, that keeps things Wait, going. Wait, hold on. I think we have another smart person on the phone talking about smoke detectors. Okay. Hi, David. Hey. Hi. Hey, David. So, it's, it's smoke detector talk. <laughs> what, what do you got? <laughs> so, to elaborate on what Matthew said, you're yeah. supposed to change the smoke alarm batteries yearly on the same day. So, you pick a day on your calendar. And then that's the day you change. Yeah, that's what they say, like, batteries. fall back, spring forward, well, I, those type right, things. Right, I thought it was twice yeah. a year because you did it when you fell back and you did it on uh, spring ahead, maybe, too. Maybe it's twice a year, but I know batteries don't die in a smoke alarm within a year. Okay. I'm mad about it, and I don't change them until they beat. But right. that's that's what you're supposed to do. What we should all do then, and, <sighs> and let's start this initiative right now. Okay. So double uh, A is what mine have, or like a 9 volt. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what we need to do, nothing else runs on 9 volt. So right. That, so that is the one bad thing. But if yours has double A's, then you should put them in your remote. You take them out at the uh, the fallback day, you put them in your oh, remote. You still get to use then them. Then they can die in your remote. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, do that. I feel it though, like mine are all nine volt now that I say double A. <laughs> and nine volt batteries, you can't do anything except touch your tongue. Well, David, you need to get better about doing that too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We all. Okay, pinky swear, all of us. Okay, not doing yeah. it. Put your finger. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fine. I'm, I'll, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Thanks, David. Have a good day. I'm not going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep staggering mine. <laughs> I like the idea of staggering them. And then when they beep, at least you know that they're working, right? Because right. you're supposed to test them on the uh, the fallback spring ahead day, too. Oh, yeah. And then when you put them in, when he's been installing them and he's like, 
Hold on, it's gonna get loud. Oh. I'm like, oh, it's so loud. Then did you quietly make your way outside until the all clear was given? No. You knew what was going on. I knew what was That's going the on. worst time to have a house fire when you are installing and testing smoke alarms. Yeah, no kidding. Because you wouldn't know, no right? No kidding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you get the uh, CO detectors too? Yes. All r- around the floorboards. Yes. They're sitting there. They're waiting for you. Uh-huh. They're hanging out just in case something happens. We had those. I don't think mine work. I mean, I have some foul gas sometimes, and it will never it go off. It doesn't work for your farts, Curtis. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. like carbon monoxide, isn't that what Maybe it is? Maybe you should go fart on no, it. No, it's just noxious gas. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. That's not carbon monoxide. It isn't literal noxious oh, gas. Okay. It's figurative. Figurative. You're saying that I should fart on the CO detector and see what happens. See what happens. That sounds you don't like want a that YouTube to go video off. ready for, for everyone you to watch. You hope that doesn't ever go off. I do. Because mm-hmm. I just want to die in my sleep. No, because that means that you don't have noxious gas floating oh, around your house. Okay, so I do want it to go off if there is some. I yeah, thought you, but you hope it never does, because that way you right. won't ever have well, it. I also hope my smoke alarm never goes off. <laughs> yes, that is true. <laughs> you know, uh, that if, is if, true. We're, if we're saying alarms, we don't want to go off. I don't want any of my alarms going off. I don't want my house to burn down. I don't want to get the gas. Here's the thing. Speaking of uh, our new house. Yeah. Um, We're trying to find a doorbell. Well, we're not trying to find a doorbell, but we're trying to decide. Get one that's a song. That's what I want to do. Yes. <laughs> but I don't want to get like a stupid. Na, 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 na. <laughs> no, I don't want to get that. Oh. You can get ones that rotate. You can have like four or five songs. Oh, I've got to go get the phone. There's a dueling banjo <laughs> player out there. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the longest doorbell ever. No. Okay, really so not dueling that. banjos? No. What about. Uh, I want to get kind of a. And I don't even know if they have them. I haven't actually been to the doorbell You know what store. you should get? What? Oh, why haven't we thought of this before? You got to get the state fight song. The state fight song. Because you're a Spartan fan. You got to go Yeah, but with I went that. to Central. Do they have a fight song? Yes. Central Michigan, not quite Michigan, not quite Michigan State. Central Michigan, not quite Michigan, not quite Michigan State. That's Go, Chips. Is that is that it? Is that it the song? Oh, I, I will sing. That is it. Yes, <laughs> you nailed it. it. How did you know that? I know. That's one of my talents. Is I know every college's you fight song. Are smart. And that's something I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You can get. I bet you can get state, but I bet you can't get chips. What do you remember? Like hum it a little bit. No, I can't even remember. Because it. I have a piano at my house and two kids who play piano moderately well. Yeah. <laughs> get them the music, <laughs> no. and together they could piece that together. And their mom. Maybe I could knows. get your voice going. Connie, answer the door. Hey, Connie, answer the door. Wow. <laughs> you put a little MP3 in there because that's what they do for like uh, phones and stuff. Like, hey, pick up your phone. Hey, hey, I'm over here. Get your phone. <laughs> Phone uh, time. Like, Dan wants a normal one, you know, ding dong. Ding and I dong. want a kind of a fun one. Yeah. Take a chance on me. Abba. Yes, Abba. You, you love the ABBA, right? I do right? love ABBA. If you could do ABBA yeah. doorbell, that would be awesome. Central Michigan. Not quite Michigan. Not quite Michigan, Michigan State. State. <laughs>